Hello, welcome to Vlomo Day 3, Vlomo 11. Yes, tempting to do it again this year. I was reminded on um, Google Plus today about my mobile phone collection. Um, I say a collection, but it's mainly the phones that I had. This was my first um, phone, mobile phone 1994. They called it a Nokia Orange quite square, um, quite weighty, and it comes with a cassette. It's actually got my original stuff in here, um, contracts and stuff like that. Um, actually paid £200 for the phone. I paid for care or something, I don't know. Um, talk 15, I think it says here, Talk 15, direct debit. Um, where's the date? Yeah, oh. November 1994. Oh. There you go. So, um, Nice big box. I mean, when Orange first came out, they were really proud of their um, customer service and packaging and the whole sort of deal that you got. I mean, obviously, it's quite a nice sort of package. Um, Nokia, obviously a good phone and branded the, the Nokia Orange. I think it was actually a, like a 2140. Um, tape to play, obviously, yeah. 1994, so uh, not as many people maybe would have had um, CD players. Um, well, they should have done by then, but no. Anyway, so that was that one. I love that phone. Um, first digital phone on the market, I think, in the UK. Um, Hutchinson was the uh, sort of uh, mother company. Then, um, well, actually, this was this came out at the same time, I think. Uh, Motorola. I've picked this out. This wasn't mine. Uh, I've picked it up. It's fully boxed. Someone else's contract? No, just some tech. Uh, just blank. It came with everything. These things, you know. You got welcome. Welcome to, you know, uh, notice that that one's got quite a big booklet in it. There you go, telling you about what to expect. This one comes with an extended battery, a massive charger. Anyway, let's phone. Probably can't see what I've even got here. Um, ooh, check that out. In fact, when you put the battery on the back, it makes it quite a lot bigger. That's, I mean, that is a classic, classic Motorola. Love that phone. But we did start going smaller, didn't we? Um, now we're back to big again with the smartphones, iPhones and everything. We've gone massive again, obviously. Do a lot more. Um, I think we went to the 5, Orange 5.1. Again, they were still doing a lot of good stuff, you know. Let's get to the phone. Somewhere. Here you go. Charger. These should all work. I mean, there's no reason why they shouldn't. That is different to the to the first one I got out, I'm pretty sure. It says 5.1 on the back. Unless someone diddled me out of my original one. Just kept just checking. No, that's yeah, the square, but that's the original, not orange. Um What do we go to next? I don't know. Personally, I went to the 7110E, which 
was, well, some people like to call it the Matrix phone, but it was the banana phone was on the Matrix. I had a banana phone. I've actually got a car charger for a banana phone. This is, um, I think this was a newer model. Remember how it works now? Huh? Oh yeah. Um, there you go. So yeah, you know, I don't know why that's not showing properly. Little scrolly wheel, wheel. That's a nice phone. I like that phone. Lovely. It's all. It should be on display. Like, if anyone's got like a web design development company or something like that. They should have these on display in, in reception. I don't know if you know anybody with a web development company. No. Uh, Nokia 402. Contracts and stuff. Oh, gone. Don't know where that is. The, I've got a box of phones as well. Not in not in boxes. I a big box of phones. So it's probably in there. Um, these are the ones. These are better because they got because they got the um, boxes and stuff. Then we went to the um, Samsung. It was like uh, it's not in there. I, I know where it is actually. It's in that other box. This little flip phone with a little round screen on the front. Um, this was a nice one because if if we was going back to small again, say you're going to carry around a um, an iPod Touch as your sort of smart device, like we used to carry on P PDAs and stuff like that. Um, like, oh, it? you know, sort of used to carry around the little palms. So you carry around one of them, and then you have your very small um, flip phones. And obviously you don't go out on a night out with your smart device, with your calendar on it and all that business. Um, but you quite happily take that out with you. No camera or anything like that. So, so that's that's a selection of my phones. And if they're not going on display somewhere. Then I'm going to put them on eBay because I've just got too much stuff lying around. As you can see, it's just I've got stuff. These are like th I'll show you these another one, another another video. But you know, it's my collection of corgi diecast. You know, actually. One of the, or some of them are quite rare. They're all, they've all got boxes. It's all going. Can't be bothered with uh, trying to find somewhere for it, and I'm running out of space. So there you go. And uh, with any luck, I'll uh, see you tomorrow. Maybe. <laughs>